This is a basic masking technique. This can be applied to any painting. I use it in particular for Pink Rivers. Let's go. Hey everybody. Welcome to another episode of Painting Paintings with Maddie Mo. Today, we're gonna make a Pink River painting. These things sell like hot cakes. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. You're gonna need general purpose adhesive spray, blue 3M tape. You're gonna need some tracing paper, semi-transparent. You're gonna need the color pink spray pen you like. I like Montana 94 because it's low pressure. You're going to need a pencil. You're gonna need an X-Acto knife and some scissors. So, what we're gonna to attempt to do is we're going to paint this river and over the frame pink. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna mask off the sides of the river, the shore, and then spray paint in the pink here. So, to get started, we need our tracing paper. We're going to put our tracing paper over our painting. We're gonna take two pieces of glue tape to hold the tracing paper in place. You're gonna take your pencil. You're going to trace the outline of the river. So, you're gonna to wanna to get it like this. It doesn't need to be perfect, but the closer you get it to perfect, the better. Around this rock. It is better to go closer to the sand than it is in the water because you don't want any blue edges running off. Now that we've traced that, we are going to cut this out. So you're going to cut this along this blue line. So I'm going to take this and apply it to our canvas and try to match it up. Looks pretty good. Okay, now our sticky adhesive comes into play. You're gonna wanna apply the sticky adhesive around the edges of here. So, just spray it on real light like. The sticky adhesive is used to hold down the tracing paper. So, we've now applied this tracing paper and it will appear as though this stuff. You see how that works? Magic, right? This is a basic masking technique. This can be applied to any painting. I use it in particular for Pink Rivers. I'm cutting off the excess uh, paper. Okay, now that we've got this tape down, we're gonna take out our blue tape. and take a little piece of blue tape. We're effectively going to tape down this paper and over the edge, kind of like we've done with our dip paintings or our TV bar paintings, where we're actually using the tape up against the frame to create a smooth edge. And we, what we want is the rock to kind of come around this corner and the pink to come out over the canvas. So we'll apply the same logic over here. I'm gonna apply a little bit more blue tape to mask off this zone. There we go. Now, on our pink, Montana 94. We are going to test the pink Montana 94, make sure it's spraying well, looking good. And then we're gonna spray away from the top edge a little bit at a time, just light, light sprays. Just really light. We're 
we're gonna remove the tape. We're gonna take this whole thing off. So we'll start at the bottom and we'll peel really slowly. This whole thing. And voila! We've created a Pink River painting. That easy. So something I don't like about this one, which I'd like to be able to fix, is that there's still this blue edge here. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. We're gonna take a piece of blue tape and we're gonna try to mimic the edge we've got right here. So that's kind of like that. We're just gonna kind of cut a blue piece of tape like this. Just a little mask right there. rocket science. Now we'll uh, post this on the internet and see if it sells. Ah, we have to sign it. Get out our marker and we'll flip this guy over, but because of this, we're gonna want to leave this up on its edges like this. We don't want to leak. The most famous Artist. Now, we're gonna take a picture of it and try to sell it. <laughs> 